Hi, welcome back to the ShareSite channel. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the dividend reinvestment for your holdings. I will explain the reasons why you need to do that, how to do that, and go through some troubleshootings. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on our social media at ShareSite so you won't miss out on any product updates. So now let's get started. So why do you need to set up dividend reinvestment in ShareSite? The reason is because ShareSite only picks up the market buy and market sell transactions from your broker. Therefore, if you have already informed the share registry to reinvest your dividends instead of receiving it in check or in a bank account, then you need to do the same in your ShareSite account. Now, before we get into this, one thing you need to find out is when did the dividend reinvestment start? Is it from the first dividends or somewhere after like the third or the fourth dividends? Did you switch between cash payments and reinvestment during your holding period? This is important to make sure that you have the accurate cost-based information. I will show you how to set up the dividend reinvestment for ASX and NZX listed companies before doing that for all other markets because the process is a bit different. Once you have imported all your trades into ShareSite, go into the holding page, make sure all the dividends are unconfirmed. You need to reset any confirmed dividend before reinvestment can be applied to these dividends. The next thing is to go to the Edit Holding tab, select Automatically Reinvest Dividend, go back to the Trades and Income tab, you should see all the reinvestment transactions under the All Trades and Adjustment section. You should see Review Automatic Transaction right at the top. Click on this. You will see a list of all unconfirmed dividends and reinvestment transactions. Once you have reconciled them against your brokerage account, select Confirm Selection. What this confirmation does is that the residual amount of each dividends get carried into the next dividends and so on. The total quantity here should match the quantity in your brokerage account. I'll go through later in this video on what to do if the quantity doesn't match. What I showed earlier is if the reinvestment started from the first dividend you receive. Here's what you need to do if your reinvestment started somewhere in the middle, like the second or the third dividends. Let's say I didn't set up my dividend reinvestment with my share registry for my CBA shares until the fourth dividend, meaning the first three dividends were paid to my bank account. What I do is confirm those three dividends before applying the reinvestment. So I'll confirm those dividends and follow the same steps select automatically reinvest dividends, reconcile and confirm them. Here I'll show you how to get the transaction history from computer shares and link market services if the total quantity is incorrect. You can find out a company's share registry on the company or ASX website. Log in to your link market services account, click on shortcut and transaction history under the transaction column, you should see holding net movement, which shows the date you bought and sold the shares. Find dividend plan allotment transactions. Here, for example, let's say I have NDQ and my total quantity is incorrect. What I'll do is compare the record in link market against my share side portfolio. Here, I originally bought 6,920 shares. The first dividend was paid on July 2022 and I received 225 shares from the reinvestment. Shares I only shows 224 shares, so I just need to edit the transaction and change the quantity. Then I'll move to the next one. I received nine shares in the following year instead of eight, so I'll change that too. In 2023, I received 162 shares. That matches what ShareSite is showing me, so I'll leave that. Now, quantities in both ShareSite and the share registry are accurate. Log in to your computer share account, click on portfolio, select view details. You should see all the transactions. Here, look for dividend plan allotment transactions. That tells you how many shares you receive for each dividend reinvestment. The process will be the same as link market services. You just need to match the quantity in your computer share against share site and adjust it accordingly. 
Now I'll show you how to handle reinvestment for non-ASX and NZX holdings. Using Coca-Cola as an example, go to the holding page on the Trades and Income tab. Click on a dividend transaction you want to reinvest. Select Reinvested under Dividend Reinvestment section. Here you'll be given the option to enter how many shares you receive and the reinvestment price. Hit save and confirm after that. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or reach out to us on our website. See you in the next video. Bye.